In response to a fan's death in extreme heat, Brazilian police have opened an inquiry into Time for Fun, the organization that managed Taylor Swift's performances in Rio de Janeiro. According to a representative for the Rio de Janeiro Civil Police Department, an investigation into the crime of endangering the life and health of concertgoers has been launched by the department in charge of consumer delegations. The statement said, event organizers will be called to testify and additional steps are underway to investigate the facts. On November 17th, 23-year-old Ana Clara Benavidez Machado passed away at the performance. She was brought to a nearby hospital and declared deceased there. It was reported by her cousin to local media that her condition was thought to be cardiac arrest. According to police, Machado's death had nothing to do with the probe. The stadium reached a record-breaking 138 degrees Fahrenheit during the performance, which took place in the midst of a heat wave. Following the performance, Swift expressed her overwhelming grief over the little fans passing in an Instagram story. During that same event, the pop star seemed as though she was having trouble breathing. She turned her back on the crowd in a TikTok video and quickly took a few deep breaths before beginning the following song. Fans resorted to social media, trending the hashtag T4F we demand respect and pleading with T4F to ensure that water was available. The day following Machado's passing, the business released a statement expressing its sympathies to her friends and family. Anna Clara felt ill last night and needed help from a group of paramedics and emergency personnel. She was driven to a medical facility at Nilton Santos Olympic Stadium so that first aid procedures could be carried out, they said. The medical staff decided to move her to Salgado Filo Hospital in light of the circumstances. She sadly passed away following emergency care for about an hour. Fans will be allowed to bring water bottles and some sealed meals into the next two performances, the firm revealed. The event on Saturday was rescheduled in spite of the precautions. Swift said, The safety and well-being of my fans, fellow performers and crew, has to and always will come first, in a message she shared from her dressing area. The third biggest live entertainment provider in Latin America is called T4F. Significant adjustments were made following Machado's passing. We inform you that we are reinforcing the special action plan carried out for the first day of the show, especially the provision of free water in the queues and at all accesses and entrances to the stadium and inside, the company said in a statement, citing the forecast of an increase in the heat wave in Rio de Janeiro. During the event, the general public will have access to new free water delivery locations. Sealed water glasses and sealed processed food will also be allowed entry to the stadium, with no restriction on the number of items per person. Fernando Luis Alterio, the company's 71-year-old proprietor, began his career in finance before branching out into entertainment and music. In 1987, he co-founded T4F, then known as CIE Brazil. The organization is in charge of the Primavera Sound and Lollapalooza events and has presented acts including Madonna, Britney Spears and Coldplay. In addition, Alterio is the 16-year-old lover of Monica Martelli, an actress. Machado had flown from the country's center-west region for the first time to witness her favorite musician. To keep her family informed, she set up a WhatsApp group and started posting pictures and videos there. Benavides texted a video to her family while traveling to Rio, asking them to look at the plane. It's moving. I'm on the aircraft, Mum. Heavenly God of mine. I'm content. She shared a video of herself on Instagram prior to the event, wearing a Taylor Swift t-shirt and her trademark Swifty friendship bracelets. Fanning her face, she informed her fans that she had arrived at 11 a.m. even though the concert started at 7.30 p.m. and that she was still in the mess. Although Swift has stated that Machado, 23, died before the event started, 
the exact cause of death is still unknown. Videos from social media showed the mayhem that broke out inside the stadium as spectators refused to give in to the intense heat. Tree Payne, Swift's head of public relations, was observed holding a weary-looking fan steady while she was given water. Swift took matters into her own hands during the performance and threw water bottles from the platform into the audience. It was reported by other fans that they required medical assistance. Before sharing a picture of her bandaged legs, one fan said, I fell on top of the metal floor in the pit around the stage and got second-degree burns in both my legs and my right arm. Brazilian supporters started a petition asking government representatives to give out free water at all national events. More than 340,000 people signed it. August marked the start of the era's tour's Latin American leg in Mexico City. Three more in Rio de Janeiro and three more in Buenos Aires followed those shows. Before heading to Tokyo, Swift has a show in Sao Paulo at the end of this week. Tragic events have plagued the Brazilian concert series since Gabriel Milhomem Santos, another teenage fan, passed away just hours before Sunday's show. According to reports, the 25-year-old was fatally stabbed at Copacabana Beach.